Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. As I'm recording this, it is currently Monday and I have had, possibly, I'm pretty sure, my biggest weekend on eBay yet. Probably not in terms of value, but in terms of amount of items. I think it's pretty close on value as well. It might actually have pipped my record to the post just about but I can't remember exactly. But I do know that this is definitely the most amount of items I have sold over the weekend. If I can find my phone, I can let you know exactly how many it was. I think it was 38. Yeah. 38. And we sold a pin as well, which is nice. So that takes up to 39. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to do this video because I don't have much space. And i got to parcel up 38 items. Uh, I'm probably going to do the board games and the big bits first. And then we'll go through everything else, which is in this tub behind me. And I'm going to have to try and find a place to place it. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go through our sales for the weekend right now. And I'm really happy because about two weeks ago, I made a video uh, saying eBay was broken for me. Uh, and I know a lot of people had similar reports with eBay and stuff like that. Uh, around that time or just after that time. I believe it's probably something to do with managed payments. As the other day, I actually went to go use my freebie code that you get if you have a store. It was £10, I can use it on uh, packing supplies. Um, and when I went to use it, you obviously still have to choose a, a way to pay. So you put the code in and then you choose like PayPal or credit card or debit card or whatever. I chose debit card and it completely refused my card. Um, it was like, you, you can't use your card right now. I was like, what is going on? Uh, but then as soon as I used PayPal, it worked. Obviously, it was free because I had the voucher. It was completely free. So it wasn't taking any money out of my card. I had money in there. Uh, I don't know what was going on. But yeah, it wouldn't let me use my card. So I have a feeling they're having some sort of issues right now taking payments from cards. Um, but I don't know. I'm not sure for sure. I'm not for sure, for sure, for sure, but that is what happened to me uh, the other day. So maybe that's happening across the board and that's why people were affected, but I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna get straight into our sales. I'm not gonna be doing these in order. Uh, I'm just gonna go through these. Um, actually, I probably should do them in order so I actually know what they sold for, that might help. Um, so let's do that instead, shall we? Uh, first item we have is a Monopoly card game. See, this is going to be tough because it's all hidden inside this tub. So I'm going to have to go digging. So bear with me a minute here, guys. You ever done that where you've sold something and then you've dropped it before you've parceled it up? And then you have to let them know that you've broken the item? Right, here we go. So first item sold for $7.99. I actually took an offer on this, I believe. I had it up for £10. Is this small little card Monopoly game? Uh, this is by Top Cards, uh, which maybe, is that the same company as Top Trumps, maybe? I'm not sure exactly. Uh, I actually sold this twice. Uh, I sold this once before and I sent it to the wrong person, so I had to do like a refund and get it back and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then by the time I got it back and the actual person didn't want it anymore, so uh, that's what happens when you send stuff to the wrong place. So I advise you to not do that. Next item we have is a puzzle. This is a 500 piece steam engine at the station puzzle. Um, that is not its actual name. I had to make one up because it doesn't have like a name. Uh, normally puzzles come with like their own little name. They'll be like, this is blah, 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 blah. But this one didn't, so I had to make it up. Uh, so 500 piece puzzle there, classic deluxe, uh, fully complete. And that one fetched seven pounds 50 plus postage, which is good, so nice. Ah, next up we have a power brick. These are the power bricks we got at the car boot sale uh, a couple weeks ago now, maybe a month ago, it might have been four weeks, actually it probably was about four weeks ago, beginning of August maybe. Uh, we picked these up for about £2.50 each, £3, uh, something along them lines. And this one is sold for £12 plus postage, which is really nice. And then next up we have a pin. A Olympics 2012 City Hall pin, as you can see right there. Uh, I bought these in a massive bundle, actually, about two years ago, uh, when I was just selling pins. Uh, picked them up for about £15 for about 50 and they've been going ever since for between £15. And what did this one go for? £3.50 on this one. Um, so, yeah, well made my money back on them. So that was a good one. Ah, we sold some vintage candles. I don't know whether I showed you this. 
Maybe I did, but the other day when I was at the charity shop, no, I didn't show you this because this was the same day I got the camera bits. Uh, I bought these, which is a vintage wax candles. I actually got four packs of these. This is a 12 pack, one dozen. The others were all half dozen. So two packs of six by the same company and then another pack of six by a different company. Um, and yeah, I got four pound for these, had these up for five pounds. They're all in there. They're actually really nice candles. Uh, but yeah, look at that. They were 20p. I don't know how well you can see that. 20p in Tesco's all them years ago. So these are probably, I would say, maybe 80s. I'm not sure. There's no date on them at all, but 20p for 12 candles. That's very cheap. Uh, so I would say probably like 80s, maybe even earlier. But then again, I don't know when Tesco's came around. How long has Tesco's been around for? I don't know. Who knows? Nobody knows. Nobody cares, to be honest. Next up, we have an I Love Winter puzzle, which is over here. So I love picking up these puzzles because they always do really well. Uh, these are the Gibson puzzles. This is an I Love Winter one. As you can see, very busy, very cartoony, very nice. And these ones do really well. So when you see these ones, I would highly recommend picking them up for about a pound maybe two pounds because they always go for between 10 and 15 pretty quickly depending on what is depicted in the image that one has gone for 10 pounds plus postage uh we sold two doctor who eagle moss figures i still need to go grab them actually because i've not done that yet because obviously i have to take the uh um the, the magazine out and everything and that takes a while so i haven't done that yet next up we have a womble this one is Jack Rothstein, and this one went for £15. There he is. So I bought the entire bundle of Wombles uh, plush for £20 at my charity shop, and I believe I had six or eight of them, and this is the third, maybe fourth to sell. And they've all sold between 10 and 15 so far, so this one was 15 plus postage. And we actually sold another one, which I'll show you a little bit later on. But we do have another Panasonic uh, Hoover bag, or vacuum bag, should I say, uh, right here. And this one, again, has sold for £5, like the rest of them have so far. So we paid £3 for an entire bag full of those Panasonic bags. And they're doing really well, so I'm happy with them so far. Next up, we have a Angry Bird. Uh, it wasn't too long ago, actually, that these were dead. Like, these wouldn't sell for love nor money. Uh, so I stopped picking them up for a while. Until the other day where I picked up a bundle of uh, Star Wars ones. And this one was a throw-in uh, with that. And this one's actually sold first out of all of them. So I guess these are picking up again. Maybe because it's near Christmas, people are getting them for their kids. I'm not sure. But this only sold for £5. So it's not exactly like amazing money i wouldn't recommend going out and buying like 50 of them or whatever you probably get stuck with them uh but yeah if you have one laying around the house or you see one for cheap out then you may get around five pound for it so next up we have another puzzle another puzzle here we go this is a heavy one this is a 1500 piece 1500 piece and we got eight pound and postage on this one and this one is like some sort of dockyard Loads of people, there's a donkey there, and a dog, and some ducks, I believe. Some kid eating inside the back of that cart. This is a pretty cool picture. There's an American flag up there, so I guess this is somewhere in the USA. Yeah. A 1,500-piece puzzle right there. So that is a heavier one, but that will still go... Oh, shoving you up in the, in the ceiling there. Still go for the same amount of postage, uh, which is fine. Oh, next up we have a Wii replacement co console and cable. So this doesn't come with like the base. It doesn't come with the uh, sensor cable, the sensor bar, whatever. So this is just literally a console on its own. And a power brick. And the TV cable, uh, and for that we got £15, so obviously if I had the base, and if I had the sensor bar, it would probably be more like 25 maybe 30 so double my money, but I didn't have that, and I just wanted to get rid of it, uh, it's all fully working, 
just uh, I didn't have the rest of the stuff for it. So that is that one going out. Next up, we have a Halo 2 on the original Xbox. Xbox Classic Halo 2. Nothing amazing on that. That was £3. Uh, we have sold the, where is that? Swap Force Skylanders kit, surprisingly, for £10. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, when I picked this up, I looked at the listings that were available and the sold, and they were going for like £5. I thought, that's really cheap. I'm just going to stick it up for a tenner and see what happens. And uh, lo and behold, about two weeks later, or three weeks actually, probably now, uh, it sold for £10, which is great. Obviously, plus postage on top. So I pay three pound for that. Yeah, so not masses of profit, but there we go. Next up, we have two controllers. Where did I put these? Ah, so you would have seen these in my pickup video the other day, actually. We have the PS3 and the Xbox 360 controller. And they were both listed for, the Xbox controller was 11 and the PlayStation 3 was 10, so 21 pounds and they're going off to the same buyer. Anyway, next up we have a super bass, super bass speaker. This is a Bluetooth speaker, and this has gone for 10 pounds. This was actually given to me free from my charity shop guy. He was like, oh, do you do speakers? Because I bought one from there. And uh, he was like, oh, I've got a few of them out of the back. Do you want them? I was like, yeah, sure, how much? Uh, two, so the same person again, not the same person as them, but these were both to the same person. Picked these up the other day for one pound each. Um, there's a hair on his face, get rid of that. Uh, these are brand new Disney store. Uh, this one is Winnie the Pooh in a bee outfit and this is Winnie the Pooh in a Tigger outfit. And these went for five pound each. So 10 pound for the pair. Oh, we sold a Guitar Hero wireless controller, any of those big ones I have. I forgot to bring that over. That's Still over in the stock room. I'll put a picture up here or here or here or here or wherever. Um, yeah. Okay, next up we have something that I can't actually show you because it's in a bag. But you would have seen me pick it up not long ago. Inside this big bag here is a Fisher-Price Imaginex kit. And it is a lighthouse. So I will put a picture up on screen again so you guys can see that. It's actually pretty cool. I spent a whole evening because I bought three packs, uh, three sets for £10 from the teddy lady at the car boot sale. I spent an entire evening uh, one day just like building all the kits to make sure it was all there. It was quite fun actually, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, they weren't complete. None of them were complete. They were missing a few bits each. Uh, so I listed them with a few bits missing. Uh, but I listed them at a fair price, so they are selling. So I got £15 for that, which covers the entire three sets. So the other two sets are basically my profit now when they sell. And that is really nice. Next up, we have another puzzle. Another 1500 I think. Yep. So this one is... Has like a really weird name. It's Jan Van Hasterine or something. And this is like some sort of house, hotel or something. So this is a 1500 piece puzzle and it's actually missing two pieces as it says up here. I don't know how well you can see that. It is missing two pieces, unfortunately, but it was listed with two pieces missing and people still buy puzzles. If the puzzle is something that they're interested in, they get it cheaper. Um, they don't really care about the two missing pieces if you tell them about it. Um, and yeah, so I sell puzzles all the time that have missing pieces. So um, if you have a missing piecing puzzle, uh, don't panic you can still sell it just sell it for like two two three pounds under what it is complete and someone will buy it because if they can save a couple of quid they're happy to not have those two pieces you know uh, next up we have i might just turn you around actually because it's probably easier as you can see we have four portals for skylanders i believe these are the xbox 360 ones yep yeah. Four Xbox 360 portals. I think I paid like a pound for them for. I actually can't remember where I got them from, if I'm being honest. But we got £20 for that, that set. So four of those, £20, which is really nice. Um, yeah, moving on. Next up, we have another Womble. 
So this, I believe, is Orinoco, Orinoco, or Orinoco, something like that. And again, we got £15 for this one. This one is smaller than the last one. Uh, but yeah, Orinoco, £15. Uh, really nice condition. So that is another Womble going out. Very happy with that. We have this Strawberry Planter. So you hang this up outside and you plant your strawberries in there, I guess. And then they come out of those little holes. I'm not really sure. I don't do gardening. Uh, but I picked this up for £3, thinking it was going to be like maybe worth 20 And unfortunately, it's not really worth much. So we got £10 for it. Uh, but, oh, I lost my sales page. Oh, no. Oh, we actually sold something else, but they've just paid. So I have to go grab that in a minute. Um, Come on, load. Okay, next up we have... In this bag, we have six unofficial Tech Deck boards. I will put a picture up on screen so you can actually see what's in there. And those went for £10. Actually, it's five. It's five in the bag, not six. Uh, £10, so £2 per board. So yeah, Tech Deck. Mm -hmm. Even if it's not real, Tech Deck does good. And I actually have tons of Tech Deck. So Christmas this year, Q4, my Tech Deck's going to fly out and it's going to be great. Uh, next up we have this PC game which has Tomb Raider 1 and 2 and that sold for £2.50 so nothing great there. Ah, next up we have, if you remember the video from not long ago, a Queen t-shirt in size small. I don't know how well you're going to see this with me holding it up like this. Yeah, we have a Queen t-shirt. If you're after a Queen t-shirt, go on my store. Join the Discord, and the store name is linked in there. Um, I only have it linked through the Discord, not in the description. Uh, but yeah, if you want a Queen t-shirt, come in the Discord, go through to my uh, eBay page, and you'll find them in there, loads of different sizes. And this one we got £15 for, which paid for the entire lot. So uh, if you want one and you want a deal, I can do it cheaper than that. So... Uh, but yeah, I paid £13, I believe, for like 20 shirts or something, and um, 15 maybe actually, uh, and that one covered the entire lot. So yeah, now once the other ones sell, that will be pure profit, which is lovely. Um, having 10 to 15 items that are pure profit at £15 each, that is pretty nice. Okay, so next up we have this pot. It's a, uh, it's a, I think it's like a stainless steel pot with enamel on the outside. It's like a, I don't know. It reminds me of like a caravan pot, uh, but I don't know. Anyway, I picked it up because it had a pretty cool design on it. Uh, it looks vintagey. I'm not sure whether it actually is. It's not cast iron. Um, I don't know, but it's cool. It's got a flowery design on, and it's orange. People love that. Um, and I got £20 for it, and I only paid two, I believe. So that is really nice. Right, next up we have a Minnie Mouse. Quite a big one, actually. So what, like 35, 40 centimetres, something like that. Maybe even more. And this one went for £13.50, which is lovely. Ah, we have sold a fish, my friends. We have sold a fish. And it's that one up there. Have my fish up on the shelf up here for safekeeping. I'm gonna have to wrap this really well. I believe this is the right one. That is the one that's actually sold. The barbell. The barbell has sold. This one does have a crack as well, a little bit of the fin damage. Uh, but yeah, this is the one that sold £5.50. So that covers the cost of all of the fish that we picked up. So. What actually happened with these, I thought they were undamaged. And then once I obviously looked at them in more detail, they were pretty damaged. All of them had pretty much damage on them other than one, I believe. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed, but that has covered the cost of the entire lot now. So when the others do eventually sell, uh, there will be some profit in it, uh, but not as much as I was expecting. Obviously, I didn't realize they were damaged at the time, uh, but that's not too much of an issue. Last but not least, we have... Woo 
we have a vintage original I forgot what it's called slinky <laughs> slinky how did I forget what this was called it's a slinky man it's in really good condition no damage no bends to any of the uh of the metal it's in really good condition uh, and this one actually fetched 10 pounds so yeah really happy with this Woo um so yeah that is all of the stuff that has sold actually there is a barbell that i sold is it a, is it called a barbell i sold a weight oh and i just sold something else as well freedom classic series external dvd rw drive i'll put the picture here that's just sold it's actually downstairs uh but yeah it was a barbell that i sold i've got the picture of it here but i'll put it up on screen it sold for six pound and they've just paid so i've sold one extra item while doing this video and someone's paid as well so two more items which puts us up to 40 i believe so that is 40 items going out from the weekend which is a lot for me we normally have about 25, 26 over the weekend. So to have that extra amount, that's crazy. So really, really happy with this weekend sales. Uh, I've been blabbering on now for 34 minutes. So thank you everybody that has uh, been watching. Ooh, it's on the floor now. Do remember, if you want a pin, they are still available over on Etsy. The link is in the description for them. Uh, if you want a closer look, Here's my one. There he is, look at that. He's missing the back because I took it off. Because I took it off my backpack because it was in the wrong place and it was like digging in. So I need to move it. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you want one, it is on the Etsy store, which is linked in the description. Join the Discord as well if you haven't already. My eBay store is linked there. So if you ever want to check out my eBay store, come through the Discord and the link is there. And uh, yeah, drop a like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys very soon. I will be doing car boots again this weekend. Didn't do any this week because I was super busy. Next week or this weekend, I will be back at the car boot. So thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye!